Hey, what's up guys? Mario here. So today I'm gonna start building my CNC and this is all the pieces I'm gonna be using today. Uh, the aluminum extrusions and uh, this, these are actually 3 by 6 inches and these pieces over here are 3 by 3 inches. I got them uh, from uh, 8020 ink in case you guys are wondering. Here I got the corner plates and some um, 90 degree 90 degree elbows or hiding elbows, something like that it's called, I think. I got them, you know, from 8020 ink. Um, here I just got, you know, different type of screws with uh, some uh, dropping T-nuts and some uh, sliding T-nuts that are, you know, are gonna help me put everything together. Here I got the uh, 25 millimeter linear rail and a set of uh, Allen keys since all the screws that I'm gonna be using are just, you know, Allen key. Um, I know some of you asked me, you know, if I have some plans for this build, but I'm just gonna, I don't, I don't really have any plans. Uh, the only thing that I have is uh, uh, my notebook and it just have you know a bunch of numbers and measurements and little drawings but nothing that's like a plan so hopefully I didn't miss anything and uh, hopefully I got you know most of the stuff correct so once I put it together everything works out you know so I'm gonna start just working on the base today since you know some pieces I'm gonna need to cut it with my other CNC and see how far I can go today and you know I continue as I go along. So I'm just gonna start with this uh, 90 degree And just try to you know put some like this and then I guess I gotta slide each piece into the other you know to the two sides you know so let's see I guess before I, you know, I tight all the screws, you know, to try to make everything kind of square, I guess it will be easier to just try to slide all of them, you know, first. And then, you know, once they're all in, then, you know, tight all the screws. Because if I make it tight, I think it will be harder for me to try to slide everything in. So. What I'm gonna try to do now is maybe see if I can stand it up and maybe slide it from, from the top down, I guess, you know.
Okay, I got, you know, all the beans in place, you know, I slide it in. What I'm about to try to do right now is, uh, I'm gonna try to mount the corner plates and then attach the leg to it. So when I, you know, I bring it down the, you know, to the other side, the leg is already, you know, at least on one side. Uh, and then maybe I can lift one side and then, you know, put the other legs because even though it's aluminum, it's, it's quite heavy. I'll say just all these pieces right now, I'm thinking between 75 pounds to 100 pounds in just weight. So it is starting to get a little heavy. The other thing that I didn't, I mean, I know I had to build it right here on this corner of this room because, uh, you know, I cannot remove the one from over there because I still need to cut some parts. So I need that one working, but uh, that's going to be another challenge too. I got to build it here and then move it to the other side. So I got to somehow build it and then take some of the parts off to just to try to move it to the, you know, to the other side. Okay, so I put the legs on one side. You know, nothing is really tight. What I'm gonna do now is just I'm gonna, you know, snug, you know, some of the screws so while I'm trying to put it down, it doesn't come off. And the same thing with these brackets right here. I'm just gonna, you know, make it a little tight. No, I'm not gonna tight, you know, all the way just so it doesn't try to shift while I'm trying to put it down. So I actually messed up. Um, I forgot to put the linear rail. 
if I really want it. I mean, I can put it right here at the top. But I guess my plan was to put it right here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna have to take these two plates out again and then slide the rail in or no wait let me see oh no never mind i actually got the dropping t-nuts so i actually can just drop the bar in and then put it in so i don't gotta slide the whole bar in i guess you know so i guess i think didn't mess up i guess So before I tight everything together, you know, all the screws right here in the front, all the, you know, the corner brackets, uh, I need to space this out. So according to, to my plans, I guess uh, the spacing between, you know, these three bars are supposed to be around uh, five and three eighths. So, right here I have my digital caliper. So I'm gonna put five and three eighths, let's see. So right there I got five and three eighths exactly. So I'm just gonna put this and just spread, you know, all three the same. Just, just the space right here in the front, it's, it's, I mean, it's a little bigger. It's probably a 16, maybe at the most, you know, but, uh, I mean, that was just my calculations, you know, without no plans, no nothing. So I just calculated, you know, three and three, three and three eighths you know, between here before I, you know, I make tight everything together. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just, you know, make sure that the space stays even. So when I, you know, try to make everything square, you know, it wouldn't be too hard to make everything square. I guess the only thing I'm gonna try to do now is uh, get a strap and tight this together. So the space in between these bars, you know, gets really close. And I think that's it. So let me, let me get this.
So this is as far as I can go. I I already you know tight all the screws uh, just to give you an idea uh, that's gonna be the say the the support for the you know for the gantry and this is the same length as that one that one is supposed to go let's say you know at the bottom and it's gonna be attached by the two arms you know that I need to cut but now I need to take some measurements because this is gonna be the ball screw that's gonna be you know underneath here and it's gonna be attached to this piece and that's what's you know the ball screw attached to this piece is gonna make you know the whole gantry move back and forward so now I just need to take you know some measurements and start to try to design the two the two pieces that go right here on the side so I can continue uh, I mean I can try to put the the uh, linear bearings in is gonna have you know two on each on each side and then on the gantry is gonna have uh, you know two at the top and two at the bottom but as far as I you know as I can go today that's it you know just you know put the whole frame together kinda now I just need to take more measurements before I can continue so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, I'm gonna keep posting more videos you know as I go along but uh, that will be you know for the next you know next time when I have you know all the pieces so I can continue with my build so thank you for watching guys and see you next time